takes the pillow, sticks it over her face, and snuffs out her last breath of life. Sue Jory and Connie Navarro were brutally murdered in Navarro's Westwood condominium. And they say for every homicide, 10,000 people are affected. He changed an entire family forever. What does it bring up? What is your trepidation? It feels ugly to tell the story. I've never been one to not share what's going on with me emotionally. I think as an artist and as a musician, that's just inherent. That's what we do. Everybody started screaming. It's massive scene. Is this the murder weapon? Dude, that was fucking heavy. It's the most profound moment of my life, and I don't think that I should sweep it under the rug anymore. It, I mean, it just was the darkest, most horrible moment of my life. I mean, there's a new dark side of Dave, of course, that emerged that moment for the next time we saw you. When he started getting into heroin, it frightened me. He just had these snake trails all up and down, and it was just looking awful. We were touring all over the world, and we were getting famous and well-known. The whole time I'm out touring the world, Riccardi was still on the loose. There was fear and terror. I mean, terror. He's out there. He's arrogant. He's vain. He's working the system. Nobody can catch him. I was afraid. Is he going to kill me? When you really got involved. You really wanted this man to face justice. Organized, organized offender. All these things start falling into place. I could hurt you right here, and nobody would do anything. Leave me alone. There are no locks that can keep me out of your house. The ultimate form of vengeance and punishment is inflicted on March the 3rd, 1983. I had lost my mother, and I almost lost everything before that. On that day, everything, everything changed.